Welcome back to Trail. Trevor Miller here with you. First period continuing on here. 0-0 the score just after our media timeout. Puck comes loose in front. Ben McDonald to the net. That's stopped by Kendrick. Rebound kicked it out as well. He stopped the Moriello follow-up try with the left pad after a trail turnover inside of the defensive zone. Welcome back in Trail. Trevor Miller here with you. Second period underway between the Smoke Eaters Trail Smoke Eaters and the West Kelowna Warriors. Ben McDonald in front. Jaden Moriel to the forehand stop. Rebound scores! Alexi Van Hoekachero, 18 seconds into the second period, and the West Kelowna Warriors take a 1 to nothing lead. A terrific drive to the net by Jaden Moriello. And finishing off on the rebound is Van Hukachero, who's got his second goal of the season. And the Warriors just 18 seconds into the middle frame. Norland right side. Lusiak to the middle. Norland left circle. Felix Caron back to the middle. Top of the left circle now. It's Norland. Down low it goes. Moriello scores! What a shot by Jaden Moriello from the left circle as he picked the glove side on Tegan Kendrick. His third goal of the season and just 14 seconds into the power play, the Warriors take a 2 to nothing lead. What a shot by Moriello from the bottom of the left circle, finding an opening on the glove side and going posted in on a gorgeous shot. Uh, this game has featured a lot of shots. They do like to press the shot on goal button here in trail, but that's just kind of the way the games are here as well. There's a lot of rubber that finds the net. 26-25, the shots on goal in favor of trail, and the game in favor of West Kelowna, 2-0. Puck loose at the front of the goal, chipped to the net, they score! Well, you can't get much more of a favorable bounce than that as the Smoke Eaters cleared the puck and it went off the corner boards. Puck played back in front and it's Josh Schenk that finds its way to an open puck and is able to put it past the glove side of Caden Hamming. It's about as much of a hometown bounce as Trails. Had that lost off his stick now as Hunter tried to play it to the middle. Hayes there to intercept him. will turn it back the other way on the left side for Van Hukachero. Working his way down the left wing side. Van Hukachero on his backhand. Turning back to his forehand. Left wing corner now half board. Dropped it off there on the left side. Bernadette to the net. He scores! Jake Bernadette on a shot that squeaks through Tegan Kendrick and in. Bernadette's got his second goal of the season on a long-range shot that found its way through, and the Warriors restore their two-goal lead. It's 3-1 West Kelowna. A nice cycle play on the left side as Van Hukachero dropped it off for Bernadette, who walked off the wall, took a shot from the top of the left circle that found its way through. And the Warriors cleared off the left wing boards, back out at center. A bouncing puck that is corralled now by Schenk, who will play it off the left wing boards. Now for Disher. He's in alone. Quinn Disher back to the back end. In front. What a stop by Hamming. I'm not sure if he made the save or if Dawson just fanned on the shot. But the Warriors keep that puck out, and the game remains 3-1. And an icing called against West Kelowna. But, boy, that looked a little close. That puck looked like it was just dying and sat on the goal line. So with 4.16 to go, a missed opportunity for trail for Rich Dawson on a pass that came from Quinn Disher. Smoke Eaters will get it in its breakout through center. Left wing side now is Marshall. Got a man to the net as he threw it in front. They score. And it looks like it's the first BC Hockey League goal for Adam Marshall, who came down the left wing and centered a pass. He had Josh Schenk going to the goal, and it went off the backhand of Brennan Nelson and passed his own goaltender on the blocker side. So Nelson will, or Marshall will get the goal with 1.44 to go in the second period. A five-goal second period between the two teams sees the Warriors' lead cut to one again. It's 3-2 to two West Kelowna. And to the power play goes Trail for the fourth time tonight. They're 0 for 3 so far. Their power play coming into the game is ranked third in the league, over 30%. So far tonight, 
The Warriors have been able to keep him out of the back of the net, but you don't want to tempt fate there. Bushy across right side. Hunter right circle scores. Just six seconds into the power play, Brady Hunter wires a shot from the right circle past the blocker side of Caden Hamming, and it's three to three. Cabeto Waugh, now Mackway, leaving it there. Cabeto Waugh, centering pass, got it back again below the goal line in the left wing corner. Cabeto Waugh in the corner, got it back again. His shot, side of the net! What a save by Caden Hamming! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Hamming got a cross on a backdoor pass and makes an absolutely brilliant save. Tried to make his way back into the offensive zone. Brooks will send it ahead through center. Loose puck now Van Hukachero driving wide on the right wing side. Drop pass. Hayes right circle across left wing. Moriello stopped by Kendrick. Good passing play by the Warriors, but Tegan Kendrick up to the task and makes a big stop with 3.15 to go in the third. Back around left side, Warner down low, loose puck in front of the goal, fired just wide. Five seconds to go here in the third. Moriello ties up with Remesong. Everybody ties up together along the boards, and for the second straight night, the Warriors are going to head to overtime, tied 3-3. Last night it was in Cranbrook, tonight in Trail. The Warriors unable to get the win last night. See what they can do here in the extra session tonight. 3-3 three, three our score after 60 minutes. Remesong and Ben McDonald on the faceoff just outside of the Warriors zone. Disher will find the handle, could be a two on one. Disher left circle, makes the move, he scores! <laughs> 